Okay, guys, so we just That's went over... That's so cool. I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah. So oh, we just sorry. went over... Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> we just went over how to place limit orders, but now we went over her dollar cost averaging. So her goal was to just basically purchase 250 of cryptocurrencies a week. But at the same time, she's trying to invest $5,000 over the next uh, six months or five months, right? A thousand, About $1,000 a month, mm -hmm. right? So what yeah. you want to do now is now you're going to put in your holy crap, the market is crashing orders. So what you're going to do is I would just maybe take like a thousand dollars because you just put in orders for 250. You want to have maybe another thousand dollars on the book, but when the price is really crash. So the same orders that we just made, we're going to do the same thing, but mm -hmm. we're going to do it if like, for example, if Bitcoin cash hits 350, you're going to buy another 0.1, right? And it's only $35, right? And then if Bitcoin cash yeah. hits 300, so you're going to put all these orders and they most likely won't hit, but you want those orders there at $300 because let's just say there's a major dip, you're gonna be able to buy those prices. And like I said, you're not putting a large amount of money, you're just putting in 30, $40 buys. So that means you're still gonna have in your trading account, you know, $3,000, but it makes sense to go ahead and have a bunch of really low orders for all these coins. Cause if there is a dip, it's going to execute. You're going to be asleep. You're going to be at work you're going to be hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Um, so like I said, and that's how you kind of dollar cost average, right? So let's just say a week passes by and you know, only like three of your orders hit, then you got to go back on your trade book and here, uh, you can't do it right here, but there's like a trade book. Oh, here we go. Um, no, there should be like a limit. There's an area. Oh, here you go. My orders. So we don't have any orders. Sorry. So there's an order book. It's not, it's not there. Sorry. I got to go back. But it, anyways, you can change those orders. So your limit order, if it doesn't hit, you can basically, oh no, I got to go back. Okay. There we go. If your limit order doesn't hit, you can actually go on this right here, this, this area right here where I'm talking about, it won't let me place an order because the account is like dead, but it's going to show all your orders of the prices you set. So you just click on it and let's just say they're not hitting. You can then raise the price. Or let's just say the market's crashing and you're like, oh shoot, some of my orders are too high. You can change it so it, it won't buy until uh, later. And so mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah, so we're not gonna do it on this one, but I'll actually log into my professional account and I'll actually show you my real orders and I'll start placing orders so you can learn. But sorry guys on YouTube, I'm not gonna share my actual uh, account information because I literally have no money in crypto. So please don't hack me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh okay cool so um yeah we'll do a little tutorial on the limit orders but before we wrap this up tell the audience what you've learned about dollar cost averaging how does it work and how are you going to do it with your uh, crypto purchases yeah yeah so i definitely like um i definitely like the spacing everything out like because when i think one of my biggest like kind what kind of deterred me from really looking into it further was putting a thousand in at once, then just getting totally hit with the market. Um, so I definitely like spacing out that whole time. Um, and I think that will kind of encourage me to keep on looking into it and like doing my own research off of, uh, you know, staying interested and on top of all of it. Yes. And like I said, it's really cool because uh, a fact I don't know if I've told you guys is I get the uh, demographics on YouTube. It tells, you know, what percent of people are watching. So my demographic is about 50 percent United States, 50 percent international. But what's most interesting, it's 95 percent guys. There's only five percent. <laughs> so it's really cool to have a female <laughs> audience member like herself interested in crypto. And like I said, yeah. if you guys like her, leave comments because I'm going to try to convince her to have her own <laughs> channel. She should have her own channel. She's way, way cooler than me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this offline. And then I'm going to actually show you my orders and how I uh, okay. trade.